Hi everyone, Kremlin here for the Techies. Today I'm going to go over how to work with points and curves in CorelDRAW uh, X4 or X5. It really works for either one. So um, to demonstrate, I'll be working with this text here. First of all, we need to convert this text into uh, curves. So to do that, just right click and press convert to curves. And now with the shape tool, we'll actually be able to control the individual nodes that make up the text, such as this right here. And as you can see here, after I've moved this node out, um, it curves right here to make it not so jagged. So say I wanted to extend this part of the edge right here down and then under the logo like this. To do that, I'm going to double click on the line two times to make two vertices here and move these guys down. Now to sweep it under the logo, we'll make two more like so and then move these guys out. Okay, now you can see that it's very jagged right here. It's almost a 90 degree angle. To fix that, make it kind of a sweeping motion. Press uh, right click and then to curve. And now just move this line over and eliminate that sharp edge right there. And do the same thing with the bottom line, like so. All right, mm, so there you go. There's a little sweeping motion. Now, um, to control multiple vertices at once, uh, you can select them like this, clicking and dragging, and then hold shift to select another group. And I'll select all of these bottom nodes of the threes and then move them down like so, if I wanted to extend them below the text. So there you go. And you can see that it auto adjusts here to make it uh, smoother, which is, very, which is a very nice feature. Now, uh, the last thing I'm going to show you is if you wanted to make this little dot of the eye smoother, uh, you can just right click over here to curve and uh, down here to curve. And now you select each one of these nodes, hold shift while you do that, uh, right click and then smooth and it gives you this nice little auto smooth dot for the eye here. So that's just a few things you can do with nodes, uh, and you can do it for many more things other than text. Um, and it's really the main thing that you're going to be working with in this program. So uh, thank you, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This has been Kremlin for the Techies.